Hello, uh, my name is Matt Kirk and I am uh, responding to the forum on peak performance, unit four. Um, first question, uh, potential in, the gra in this graduate program. I feel my potential in this graduate program is to finish these final two capstone classes and complete my master's. Um, as a 42 year old reentry student who already has one master's, it wasn't easy to pony back up, you know, as you will. Uh, while being a department chair at a middle school and a defense coordinator at a community college um, and go back to school. It wasn't easy to do. Um, so it was something, you know, I'm really glad that it's almost over. Um, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I feel the experience I have in both my careers helps, helps me share my experiences and knowledge with others in this program. So I think, you know, as far as potential goes in this program, for me to share my knowledge and things that have worked with me over the years is pretty high because of the years I've been doing um, both careers. Uh, what do I bring to the classroom? Um, as a teacher, I bring energy and enthusiasm to the classroom. I feel like I'm very energetic and um, the kids feel my energy. Um, kids love to be in my class because I make it fun and I'm always doing new activities with them. Um, as a teacher of 19 years, I've learned classroom management as well as intervention techniques that work with all students from all cultures and creeds. As a coach, I bring 16 years of experience uh, while being a defense coordinator at four different community colleges and winning four championships, including a state championship. Um, I feel my experience of an ex-junior college student athlete who worked hard to transfer to a four-year institution allows me to understand my student athletes better. Um, I understand what they're going through and allows me to help and guide them through this process. Um, what is the potential in my research proposal? I feel the potential in my research proposal is great because I truly feel it will show that visual imagery uh, does affect intrinsic motivation and athletic performance in a positive way. Um, I think it will remind coaches that the sport, that sport psychology is part of coaching. It is very real and it should be not, not be neglected. Um, what do I bring to my research? Um, my research entails me delivering an imagery script to my players, uh, which I have done before. Um, although when I have delivered the imagery script in the past, I didn't go from a script. I just went from my heart and passion. Um, I feel like my experience as a player and a coach in big games will allow me to deliver an imagery script that will help my players uh, in the study of visual, in the study to visualize the stimulus without being introduced. Um, it's my hope that the survey questions will ascertain whether or not visual imagery improves intrinsic motivation. I also think our grading system will allow us for uh, allow for us to sh to measure athletic performance of both the research and the experimental experimental group which will ultimately show if, in fact, visual imagery improves intrinsic motivation and performance, which is my hope. Uh, so this is my experiences as a junior college football player um, and transfer student athlete, uh, hopefully will help me um, in this research. What are my current distractions? Being a full-time middle school PE teacher uh, and department chair where I'm expected to finish the fitness grant, which we are currently doing, uh, and incorporate not only Common Core, but reading and writing strategies as well. Um, they have us doing uh, annotated text for reading. They have us doing uh, Frere models for reading. Um, they have us doing small stakes writing and big, large stakes writing. I don't know if you guys are doing that in your PE department, but we are. Um, another distraction is recruiting of high school players and practice preparation. So I'm full on in recruiting in the spring. Um, I'm preparing practice sessions. We are going four days a week in spring football, which includes off-season training and film sessions, um, which I'm wholly responsible for. Um, we don't have strength and conditioning coach. Defensive side, we do our job and the offense does theirs, so very busy with that. Um, so what steps, can, what steps can I take to counter out these distractions to ensure peak performance? The biggest thing I must do is balance my time. Luckily, um, I'm able to do some homework in the morning because I have no homeroom and I have no first period. So I have a 90 minute block every day. Um, so, you know, that's helped me a lot um, to manage my time and get a lot of my homework done Monday through Wednesday. And then by the time we get to the weekend, I have time to finish the assignments that are due by Sunday. Um, Exercise has helped me and I can't even imagine my life without my workouts. Um, you know, Actually, I try to get it done with my players as much as I can or at work as much as I can. By the time I get home, I'm spent um, and I don't really want to work out. So that's helped me. And uh, finally, because coaching is my passion, it's therapeutic for me and it helps me filter out stresses in my life. 
So um, these things have all helped me you know, to ensure my peak performance in this class. Um, how do you perceive peak performance? Final question. Um, the definition of peak performance is a state in which the person performs to the maximum of their ability, characterized by subjective feelings of confidence, effortlessness, and total concentration on the task. Um, I think this definition is spot on. I think a person who reaches peak performance knows they are going to perform flawlessly. They are confident, prepared, and passionate about their performance. Um, to me, peak performance looks like Kobe Bryant scoring 81 points. You know, it looks like Michael Jackson at the Grammys. It looks like Michael Phelps in the Olympics. Or well, it looks like Barack Obama in his final State of the Union. Um, I simply measure peak performance with greatness and excellence. Thank you. Have a great rest of the week.